Hey there, I am Chris Palmer, and in today's video, what I'd like to share with you is a easy way that you can start adding schema markup to your pages without having to use a plugin. So if you're a WordPress user and you want to add custom schema, but you don't want to have to bog down your system using a schema plugin or another plugin or whatever the case may be, I'm going to share with you two free tools that you can start using today in order to start having breadcrumbs, facts, how to, all different types on your website. So I don't want to waste time. Let me share with you these two tools and I'll give you the process as well of how you can start implementing this. So the very first thing is going to be go and get, and I'm not associated, but it's a free Chrome extension if you're using Chrome. It's called SEO Pro Extension by Marketing Syrup. The next, the next thing that you'll want to do is if you come over to google.com or Bing, whatever you're using, and type in technical SEO free schema generator. All right. So technical SEO free schema generator. What you're looking for is this one right here, technical SEO. Again, I'm not affiliated. I just want to share with you some really good tools that are free. So here's the process and here's exactly what I do for a majority of all my websites, unless they're absolutely, unless I have a client that really just wants to use an easy solution. This is what we do. So what you'll do is pretend that Pretend you're a plumber or whatever the case may be. Let's say that you're a plumber in New York. Okay. What you want to do, regardless of your keyword is go ahead and type in the keyword that matters to you. Take a look at the search results or also called the SERP and take a look at the top performing websites. Now, Angie's list and Yelp, these are authority websites. So open up this one. We're going to right click and open. I like to open up two, maybe three of the top competitors. Uh, expertise that's another directory thumb back so here's here's another competitor and then here's another competitor all right so now we've opened up the three competitors then what i do is i open up the chrome extension the free one seo pro plugin by marketing syrup and i go to the schema over here up at the very top here see they have overview headings status links images schema this particular site's not using any schema let's go to the next top competitor so we'll go to schema markup this guy or this particular brand is utilizing this type plumber they're putting in their name description url image telephone address and then they're also putting in their postal address so this particular person is using plumber along with their address so the next one is going to be this all right let's go to the next top performer we have schema breadcrumb web page plumber okay the next one is plumber again and then we have parsing error so it's it's not reading it. So generally, exactly what I will do is this. I know that I need plumber. Okay, plumber. I'm also going to need breadcrumbs. Okay. Uh, let's just take a look at the list here. So we have, uh, oh, we're going to name the web page. Okay. So I'm naming, I'm writing down the types that the leading competition has. And the reason why we look at the top performers is because Google's rewarding these sites. So why not just follow in their footsteps so we can be rewarded as well? So plumber breadcrumbs web page. Let's keep going here. All right. Breadcrumbs web page inside of web page. Let's take a look. Okay. Again, web page. So, oh, we have website is being named. Let's go ahead and write that down. All right. Now, what we're going to do is head on over here and we want to generate, as you can see here, web page, breadcrumbs, right? Uh, and website. So what you're going to do is just come into here. We have article, breadcrumbs. Oh, I need breadcrumbs. And then you fill out the details that matter to your business, your brand, your URL, whatever URL you're using, fill out the details. And as you can see over here on the right hand side, it's going to create the schema. So what's the page's name? Uh, plumber in New York. See how it's changing over here? It's literally creating the schema types. Now, let me just share this with you before I have to run. Let me walk you through this. So as you can see here, the top competitors are using plumber. Now, if you take a look at your list here, we don't see plumber, right? We see organization. So let's go ahead and take a look here. All right. Let's see if we can type in plumber. Okay. Plumber. Plumber's not on the list. Okay, so let's just keep looking. Nope, I don't see plumber. Let's go to another one. Now, I already know that it's not there, but I'm just trying to make a point so I can walk you through this. So person, it's not there. How about local business? Local business type. Can we type in plumber? 
Oh, plumber's not there. So what do you do if it's not inside the generator? Well, what I'll do is literally go over here to Google and type in uh, create plumber schema, right? And then let's just take a look. So here's plumber schema at schema.org, uh, schema for plumbers, plumbing webmasters, right? So let's take a look at this one. So as we can see here, it's going to take us to an actual generator and every niche might have something different and you might have to do another search for a new generator unless you can write it yourself. So now that we could see this, let's take a look and see if they have it here. It does not look like it, but if we go to schema.org, we can take a look here and see, hey, what types of uh, schema markup do they have? Well, local business, uh, I'm looking for plumber. So control F, plumber schema organization so it's organization local business home construction plumber ah it's telling me home construction business oh that's right that's over here so what you'll do is come on over here and then you're here home construction business specific type then you can type plumber all right now it's just sharing with you other ways that you can go find other generators or get to the heart of what the issue is like hey i didn't see plumber initially how do i figure it out well what you do is you either type it into google or if you're really curious just come over here to schema.org and you could type it in right at the top but let google do the searching for you type in either plumber or whatever your niche is type it in the google look for a generator or look up the schema type so you can add it into your schema so you can start getting rewarded so this is going to be two free tools that are going to allow you to have custom type schema to mark up the elements on your page completely free if you don't want to just use another plugin my name is chris palmer if you have any other questions related to schema schema markup pretty much anything local seo seo digital marketing related never hesitate feel free to ask in the section below and i always look forward to seeing you in the next schema markup how to implement schema easily on your pages video have a great day Bye bye